anyway how you doing guys let me um continue the thought about the retirement now how did it happen you might ask what happened you know, people got questions. Let me answer them. When I first retired, right, back in 2017 of January 13, was my last day in my job. I had to fly to Florida and meet my niece because her father, I think, passed away, which was my, my brother-in-law. So I stay in Florida for like a month. No, no, wait, sorry. I stay over there for maybe a week. I can't remember, one week, two, one, I can't remember. The thing was that we had to take, we had to take my niece's stepsister back to Georgia. So we drove to Georgia and for Georgia we stood there one night then the next day, me and my niece, we drove to San Antonio, which was, which was my second time because the first time I went, I went with my daughter and my granddaughter. That was back in 2000, I can't remember, was 2000, when, when my granddaughter was, she's 10 now, but when she was like four years old, put it that way. Now you know, six years ago, six years, I think before 17, I think, I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, my granddaughter was born in 2011, put it that way. Anyways, so I arrived in San Antonio with my niece. I stayed there maybe a week or two. Then that's when I, I went to, I went to downtown San Antonio the second time you know, going around visiting, and I met some friends. I w we went to the to the Salt Lake barbecue in Austin, Texas, one hour, and we had a good time with the. We had a good time with the with, with some people there that we met, and uh, it was nice. And then my niece told me, um, "Deal." Uncle, what are you going to do? I said, well, I don't know. I don't know what to do. And she says, well, if you want to, you could take my car and just go wherever you want to go. And I went, go where? I said, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I took my niece gave me her car and because she many years ago I used to hear a lot of bad bad reports about California and all that stuff I used to hear a lot of bad reports people getting killed all that crap whatever and then I was afraid to go west I was always afraid to go west and remember, I, I lived in New York 56 years. So finally, I'm in San Antonio. My niece gives me her car. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go west. Yeah. I'm going to travel west. That's what I'm going to do. And my niece told me, hey, Theo, that's a good idea. That's an exciting idea. Take my car and leave and just go and enjoy yourself and do whatever you want to do. I don't care. So that day, uh, I was there maybe two weeks, right? And that night, around 7 o'clock at night, 7 o'clock, I went to sleep. I went to rest. I rested three hours. And then I woke up at 11 or 11.30. And I had a big jug, I had a big mug of Puerto Rican black coffee. Very strong, very strong. I mean, I put a lot of black coffee. 
I drank that big mug. Nice and strong, man. I mean, strong. It's not a joke. Ooh. It, it erases, it gives you a hair in your chest. Anyway, I drank that, that coffee and I took off. I took off and I drove 20 hours straight without resting. This is the blessing of retirement. I just kept on going for 20 hours. I got to San Antonio, I left around one o'clock in the morning. I got to San, I got to El Paso by 10. And then I stopped to eat breakfast at Cracker Barrel. And if you go in the back of the building or the restaurant, <clears throat> you could see what is Mexico what is right across the street from the highway number 10 Amazing when I saw this it really blew my mind It blew my mind. I Say wow those people over there I'm over here And then after that I just kept on driving and I arrived in Phoenix, Arizona by 730 at night and Then I stayed there for three months I went to spend time with my niece, my other nephew in California, and going back and forth. Doing, I went to the to the target practice, you know, to shoot, you know, with guns and everything. It was very exciting. And then after that, I headed back to I headed back to San Antonio. And then San Antonio, I stayed there for two weeks. And then I headed back to, to New York. As a matter of fact, I headed to Miami. And then I, I stopped in New Orleans and I have gumbo, I had crawfish, you name it. That was the second time, coming and going. And that was it. I just, my niece gave me her car. I just went crazy. I just went all over the place. That's what I wanted to share, guys. Like I said, if you plan to retire, please, I recommend you, you know, take time and travel. Travel. Get a car, a nice brand new car. So you will have no problems. And believe me, you're going to have fun. Trust me. <clears throat> if you're not, if you're not retired yet, think about it. Please, I beg you. You're going to have fun. You're going to meet exciting people like I did. I met people everywhere. I met a lot of people. And I have fun. I love it. Wow. I went to Tombstone, Arizona. And that, that town is still intact. For over 200 years old. You believe that? You gotta go there. You gotta go. They got shows for ten dollars. You better go. You better go. God bless you. Take care.